Many of our modern HVAC systems have onboard diagnostics as well as ways for reading temperature thermistors and pressure transducers to give us an accurate understanding of the performance and the operating of our system. But what about our legacy systems? Well, we've had technology become very prevalent in our industry in many forms. And one way is the introduction into sensors and software to monitor existing systems. So we're gonna be taking a look at the Smart AC system. We've heard a lot about it in the industry. So we're gonna actually do a connection to my home system, which is just a plain Jane 14 sear air conditioner with a single stage 95% gas furnace. I know, no, not my preference, came with the house and it was a new home. So we're gonna ride it out for a while until we can update this thing into a modulating inverter system. But for now we have an existing single stage outdoor and single stage indoor that we can monitor. Now, when I open this, I find that I have very simple QR codes for the app for both uh, Apple or for Android devices. We have our hub and we have three different sensors, I'm going to presume. And we're gonna have our connections for that. So let's pull this out, see what else we have here. All right, so we've also got our power adapter, presumably for the hub. We have a riser for presumably water sensor, it says water sensor riser. And we have our quick setup guide, which we will dive into in more detail in this video. So we're gonna go connect this thing, see what kind of readings we have, and we'll, uh, and we'll dive a little bit deeper into these home HVAC monitoring devices and software. Okay, first thing we need to do is open up our camera, scan our QR to be able to grab the app. We'll go ahead and get that, add it to our mobile device. And once we have downloaded that, we can open the app and off we go. Welcome to smartac.com. This setup will only take a few minutes and we'll guide you through each step. Included, you'll find the Smart AC Hub, sensors tailored to your home, and a few accessories that are helpful in some situations. The comfort sensor monitors the hot or cold air coming from your vents. Tracking the performance of the system allows us to detect small problems before they become costly repairs. The filter sensor tracks the lifespan of your air filters, alerting you when they need to be changed. Optimizing filter replacements can save you up to 15% on your energy bills. The water sensor guards against leaks and clogs that can cause catastrophic damage to your home. Finally, the Smart AC Hub sends data to the cloud, allowing us to monitor system health and alert you when needed. All right, let's get started. Okay, our first instruction is to scan the QR code. So we'll allow access to our camera. We'll pull up the hub, grab the QR on the back of it, and let's see if we can get this zoomed in. Yep, there we go. All right, now we can add our email address and get this thing registered. The next step along the process is to find a good place to install the hub, and then we'll connect to our local internet through Wi-Fi or through the landline, and we'll get this thing connected to the cloud. First, activate each sensor by removing the battery tab. The light will blink when the sensor powers on. Now that the sensors are online, we go through a quick tutorial to determine which type of system you have for best location placement. This one is the water sensor, the blue one. Place the sensor inside the pan near the drain line. Now it's time for the filter sensor, the gray one. Start by locating the larger intake vent where your air filters go. They're usually in a wall or in the ceiling. Choose the one closest to the comfort sensor we just installed. Remove the air filter and record the size. Now let's install the comfort sensor. Each sensor is labeled and color-coded on the back. The comfort sensor is the white one. Start by locating a supply vent in the same room as your thermostat. Supply vents are the smaller ones that blow hot or cold air into the room. Place the sensor in the middle of the vent. 
In most cases, the magnets will hold it securely in place. If your vents are not magnetic, click below for mounting clip instructions. After we have selected the location of our supply vent, we've determined if we're going to accept notifications or not, we move on to the portion where we enter nameplate data. And it's a fantastic opportunity to utilize AI technology to record the information for the outdoor unit. So we simply take a photo, it recognizes the information, and then we put in some basic information about our system. Very cool technology.